CBS 2 News starts right now with breaking news. A former school custodian, now a fugitive. He's been sneaking into bathrooms, recording women and girls for years. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey live in Northbrook. Megan, David Garcia Espinal was once banned from a mall. Right, Brad and Erica, tonight we find out he'd been caught taking photos of women using the restroom at a movie theater here in Northbrook nearly a decade ago, and he's been getting away with it for years. Our children were violated, and I'm disgusted by it. His daughter was captured on a hidden camera placed in a bathroom at Northfield Sunset Ridge Middle School. I was um, shown photos of my daughter sitting on the toilet. Police say it was put there by a school employee, now a fugitive, David Garcia Espinal. The sad part? Today we learned he was caught taking pictures of women while they urinated about 10 years ago, here at this AMC movie theater in Northbrook. Police received a report of a man, quote, standing on the toilet in the stall, leaning over the wall and taking pictures of women in stalls with a digital camera. He was by himself and bought a ticket to see Yogi Bear. He was wearing this grocery store employee uniform, the same uniform he had when police were called back to the movie theater months later for another call of a man sneaking into the woman's bathroom. This time he was interviewed by police. He was banned from the shopping center, but even though the lead detective determined that Garcia was the culprit, both cases were cleared and closed without an arrest. Garcia's mugshot did make this internal bulletin warning area police departments about his penchant for entering women's restrooms. But since Garcia was never charged, his lewd acts never showed up on a background check. One more reason why he slipped through the cracks and got hired at a middle school, where Garcia was accused of putting cameras in multiple bathrooms. We wanted to know why Garcia was never charged here in Northbrook tonight. Police told me there was no one on duty authorized to answer my questions, and the lead detective in this case has since retired. As for Garcia's whereabouts, the U.S. Marshals' specialty is hunting fugitives, but so far we've been told that the Great Lakes Regional Task Force has not been called on this case. Live in Northbrook, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Erica? Megan, thank you.